motivation to learn. That's what this video is going to be about. And that's the title of a message I received from a subscriber here on the channel. So I'm gonna start this short video, I'm gonna keep it short, by briefly reading this, this email. I have it here on my laptop and then doing my best to answer it. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that by making this video, if you're out there trying to learn something, whether it be what this person is trying to learn or something else, that it can provide a source of inspiration and motivation. All right, I'm gonna read the email. I think I can read it from here. I don't have to pick up the laptop. Oh, maybe I will. So the subject is motivation to learn. The message is the following. Hi, the math sorcerer. I am very grateful to your videos and all the videos that the content creators. I do have slight dilemma here. I studied a little bit of calculus on my high school and almost 10 to 12 years ago and went to study something else. Now, after all these years, my passion for math has grown, but I am not sure if I would succeed or not. I have many doubts in my mind. I have gone through a lot of pre-calc course and things and also go admission in my university at Nepal to undergraduate. I am very doubtful of myself. The current syllabus I am trying to cover is, and he puts a link, I am self-reviewing integral calculus, uh, James Stewart, and I want to catch pace with my college. Any words of motivation will help. So this person is basically trying to teach themselves calculus and they are struggling with motivation which is something that is very real and something that happens to all of us who are trying to learn. So if you are trying to learn on your own, if you're trying to learn mathematics and you're having a hard time with it, you need to remind yourself that one, why are you doing it? Right? Why are you trying to learn math? What is it you're trying to accomplish? You know, you, you need to have a deep reason for wanting to learn math. And those are the reasons that you can fall back on when you start to shift. If you feel yourself say, oh, you know, I don't, I don't feel like doing it today. Those reasons will anchor you and bring you back to your purpose. Like, this is why I need to learn math. This is why I need to learn chemistry. So you have to have those reasons. Secondly, you need to realize that the only way you're going to learn is if you actually do the mathematics, right? So you can sit here and you can sit here in indecision and think about all the things you want to learn, all the things you want to do and how you wish you could do them, but that's not going to help you. The only thing that's ever going to help you is when you take action. And that's a strong realization because that will get you to act. And I, and I talk about this all the time. Action, my friends, is the only thing you can do in this life that's going to lead you to results. So two things, have your anchor, have your purpose. Why are you trying to learn math? You know, why, why, why is it important to you? Is it because you just want a degree? That's fine, right? As long as you have a purpose, as long as you have a reason for doing what you're doing, that can anchor you and bring you back. And then you need to realize that the only way you're going to get there, the only way you're going to accomplish anything is to take action. So those two things alone can kind of give you like a, I guess like a brief reset, you know, get you, get you going. Anyways, I promise this would be a short video. So I'm going to hit stop right now. If you have any advice for this person, leave a comment, check out my courses. I have courses on calculus, check out my books, all the links in the description. Stay strong, my friends.